It is the Woody Show, everybody. Hello. Yes. Woody, hey. Ravy. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Greg Gorey. Hey. There's uh, Menace. Hi. Seabass and Sammy. Hello. Everybody's here. Phones are open at 877 44 Woody. You can uh, hit us up with that text over to 22987. And uh, we have a in studio guest, everybody. Yep. He is uh, the most in shape man that I know. <laughs> by far. By far. You need to know more people. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I look like the people I surround myself with, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Horton is right. here. Hey. Hey. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Again? Yeah, yes. again. It's been yeah, a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Menace has been working on his squats since I the last have. time. That... I'm much better. Yeah, because the last, the last time. The last time. Form. Well, that's. That's not that's not wrong, right? That's he horrible. Just, he was horrible. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, here. Go go th- over th- by Tony. No, I threw up in my mouth a little one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the last time uh, we, we, hold on, Menace. Now hold on. Okay. Pull your I'm pull I'm your watching. jeans up first. Yeah. Wait, hold on. It's called right. setting a scene. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh He's breaking out in a flop sweat over here. Last <laughs> time Tony was here, fitness expert mm-hmm. Tony Horton. Last time he was here, creator of P90X, right? The creator. The yep. creator of P90X. You might have heard about that. Now he's got his own fitness platform. We'll mention that in a second, but he ran us through a workout. Right. The fattest he, show on the radio got ran through us, a workout. He took us through a circuit. It was yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. brutal. And you all yeah. killed it. You yes. Killed it. Did better than I thought we would do. Now, we tried to do uh, squats. Which squats was part of it. Everybody was fine, except for Menace. Menace couldn't do one. There was a, there was like a spin bike next to Menace that you had to hold on to. Like shaking. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. he was on his tiptoes. Yeah. All right. So he says he's improved since the last time we saw you, well, Tony. Well, he's had five years. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, what was oh, that? Wow, Ow. that's that hurt wow. me. I think uh, his ACL just went across yeah. the room. <laughs> Tony, so, Tony, can you show Menace the proper way? So what Menace does is he goes down a little bit, then his top half lurches forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His knees pop out to the right. side, yeah. and his, then finally his hips shoot back. Yeah. Now watch. Now watch the expert here, Menace. So your feet are somewhat parallel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your shoulder or hip distance apart. Uh huh. You got a duck thing going on. You got to kill that. Okay. Yeah. I can do that, right? So here, okay. toes you want to put out. your en- lift your toes up inside your shoes. Okay. All right, put your energy chest up, eyes up. Okay. All right, we're doing this All together. Right. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here comes the squat. All right, yeah, yeah. All okay. right here we go. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, uh, no, see how go ass back, chest up. Yeah. Stick your ass out. Oh, he couldn't oh, do it. Oh, wow. Look at how low wow. Tony got. See, Tony Dang. goes yeah. Yeah. all the way. I think that is a low squat. Squat shaming me. Uh, I well, I think Menace's problem is hip and knee mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Hip and well, see, I'm not, I'm not flexible at all. But I could do a squat. Yeah. He could yeah. do it better than that. Yeah. It burns in my ankles. All right. Yeah. We'll have, we'll have, you got to see that to appreciate just how bad it was. Woo. By the way, Tony's your, yours is great. Yeah. Well done, Tony. Yeah. I've, done, yeah. I've done a couple. Yeah. By the way. All right. So. You know uh, what you're doing. Tony Horton, interesting story. Uh, like we said, creator of P90X, and now you got your own fitness platform. It's called Power Nation Fitness. PowerNationFitness.com is the uh, is the website. But yeah. uh, th- the story is interesting where you had, and we talked about this the last time you were here, but just to refresh everybody's memory and everything else, uh, you end up having like some kind of really bad medical thing where you, you couldn't walk. Well, yeah, since I saw you last, I got Ramsey Hunt Syndrome, which is shingles in your ear. Oh, my God. You know, I'm one in 100,000 people who get shingles get it there. Yay. Yeah. Way to go. Nice. Um, and it affects all the nerves that affect, you know, your sight, your taste, your smell, and your balance. The balance is the worst. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I lost about, I don't know, 30 pounds. Lucky. and uh, Couldn't eat. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. yeah that's you got, lucky. Yeah, everybody yeah. in the room, let's get that Ramsey Hunt syndrome. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you will look contagious? gorgeous it's after that. <laughs> it's either that, or we make out with you and get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. Well, no, it's it's it's, it's shingles. So if you have right. the, if you have. Uh, well, he had shingles, but he had regular shingles. Yeah. 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 I had like yeah. on my face. It was kind of got close to my eye, which yeah. people then freaked me out. They're like, you got to get that. I didn't get the weight loss shingles. Well, you get the weight loss shingles. Oh, rats. Damn it. Well, Justin Bieber had it as well. I mean, he's awfully young to get shingles, and he had it in his ear. Uh, and then Feinstein, our former senator, had it as well. So it just, you know, I mean, you can't, you can't walk in a straight line. You know, you're just, if I look to the left, I'd throw up. If I look to the right, I'd throw but up. But anybody who saw Ooh. P90X and the things that, uh, that you did on that and just how in shape you were to think that you couldn't even walk and now to see, like, what you're able to do now. Yeah, I mean, it took about a year. The first three yeah. months were brutal. I mean, I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't eat food. I mean, I just, I just wow. threw up and and wept mostly for a long yeah. time. It, you know, it's a it's a game changer. So I I brought in sort of a mindfulness component into my new program, which I needed because all the king's horses and all the king's men they tried, but they couldn't help me out. Yeah. And so I just I had to learn how to breathe and meditate and be in the moment and just you know survive it. It was it was awful. Crazy. But you know, I'm not 
I'm not as stressed out as I used to be. I'm not as, uh, you know, I'm not a maniac. Yeah. And how old are you now? 65. Dude, got to be the best. Like he's got to be the, the most, mo- in, most shape in shape. Sixty-five year. Look at the yeah. like, look I at know. the arms, dude. The hair, the hair, the hair. Know, hair. Hey, and this is my color, so don't be talking. Is it really? Ah. Comes out. The beard, as you can see, is making a, cha- a shift. You got some gray on the temples. Yeah, yeah. yeah a little bit, yeah. dude. Little bit. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, look. What a specimen. All vegetables. <laughs> you, know? Uh, you know, I drink the right amount of water. Rainy. I meditate. I you, know. I you know, no hooch. I haven't had. I haven't had a drink in thirty years. Um, and I just walk. So, what walk, do you do for man. fun? Like, when it comes, to I like don't any, have fun. There's no fun. With <laughs> there, there any kind of like, is there fun. any kind of vice that you've Const- got? I mean, do you gamble? Do you cigar? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, not, I mean, I was in drinking. Vegas and we we played some blackjack and that yeah. was fun. But you know, it's not really my thing. You don't have like a vice. No, hey, my vice is, is skiing as hard as I can, as often yeah. as I can. I was in Jackson Hole for almost two months just, yeah. just awesome. getting after it, man. That's you know? cool. First of all, hole. Well, uh, mm-hmm. you did yeah. bring up water just yeah. now, and since last time you were here, Stanley Cups have become hugely popular. Yeah, People are mugs. drinking yeah, or, uh, drinking more water. How much water do you recommend? Yeah, People is that necessary? It's a, it like really depends on the individual. Yeah. If you're training a lot and you're sweating a lot, you know what I mean? Right. If, let's, if, let's look at Sammy to your right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This heat. Yeah. Five-foot person. Like, how much water does she need? She's carrying around something that's as big as she is. Well, you know, there is a thing called overhydration, which yeah. can really kind of screw mm-hmm. with your metabolism, your digestive system, and stuff like that. But, but you know, I mean, whatever. Eight, eight-ounce glasses a day is sort of the standard for most people, you okay. know, especially if you're drinking coffee, especially if you're drinking booze, mm-hmm. right? So there's more coffee, more booze, whatever, then you got to drink more water as well. So, well, uh, And I some saw... people just think, I only drink when you're thirsty, but I don't know if I mm. agree with that. Uh, I saw uh, because I have a tonal. And You're a wise and beautiful I love, man. I love tonal. I bought it. I was like one of the early adopters. I, mm-hmm. I bought this thing because I always have the idea I'm going to work out, right? Yeah. My, now, it's a fitness mirror, but does it have weights attached to it, or how does that work? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you're you're probably better because you are an official spokesperson. But like the layman's uh, 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 description of it, it's like the mirror, except it has these arms that come out, and there's resistance training built into it. So rather than just like watching these exercises from the mirror. Uh, there's like these, uh, cables that come out, different attachments for, you know, handles, a bar for, you know, doing uh, bench presses. So you're stuff both like watching that. exercises and having a mirror yeah. right in the same so, screen. Yeah. So when I am doing the tunnel, I, I, your initial programs that you had on there, I loved. Thank they were, you. they were, uh, they were great. My wife, loved, my, my, uh, my wife loves them too. And, uh, we're both very excited cause I'll, I will get back into it. That's the one thing, the resistance training that I've, I've been talking about. Now that you're back on there, I'll do that. Well, you know, I mean, look, there's 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 plyo and there's yoga and there's cardio and there's resistance and it's a you know P90X the original P90X had twelve different routines and the the purpose was to work on your weaknesses as much as your strengths and the tonal provides you know uh, the same amount of stuff you know I've got I don't know five programs a new one just came out a lot of solo workouts as yeah. well and it hangs on the wall too so it's like out of the way it, you know <laughs> yeah. it doesn't take up like a big no it's it's a it's yeah. a giant iPhone with arms yeah you it's see a, Bowflex went out of business finally. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it served its purpose at its time. But, you know, look, the, the, like, for example, the tonal is... I've seen these big, bulky things you don't need. Yeah, the tonal is f- from the future. It's four f- four feet tall and six inches deep, and it just sits there, and it does everything. Yeah. Every exercise you can imagine yeah. as far as resistance, it does it all. So you're on there. And then uh, Power Nation. Tell us about Power Nation. Well, during the pandemic, you know, a lot of people were sort of stuck at home, and they had done P90X 40 times. They're getting tired of my jokes. So, <laughs> uh, you know, and I was bored as well, so I just started doing just random workouts for, for fans. And then, you know, we had done like 50 of them, and we thought, well, let's, let's turn this into a program. And then so my wife was kind of, you know, she was my assistant at the time, and then now she runs the whole show, man. And so, uh, you know, we're, we've got subscribers, and we've got – multiple programs not mine is the power of four which has 24 routines which is a big variety and then we've got seven other trainers and we're shooting yeah. two more uh in a couple of weeks so it's it's a blast i mean uh my neighbor he was the one who i i heard about p90x when that first uh hit the scene and like i remember like all right cool and so i got the dvds and i started I thought I was going to die. I felt like I needed to be almost in shape to start doing that. Like with this thing, though, like is it yeah, for? Yeah, there, there were a lot of people who were 150 pounds overweight yeah. who just who just hung in there. They were marching in place, or they were yeah. just using watching it as a TV show. Yeah. And after the second month, they got more and more. I mean, Jeremy Yost, for example, uh, took him three rounds, lost 180 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Now, what about like uh, so? But Power Nation, like, is that something that you know, even a big fat ass like myself, like, can I just start? Absolutely. With that, like, or do I have to do something? You know how this, you see on that my six hundred pound life, they have some of the people who are so fat they got to lose weight before they can get weight loss oh, surgery. Absolutely. Most do I have to do. lose any weight yeah. or no, do anything no, like no, before no. starting something? One like of that? the things that we did 
because we understood what you went through with P90X and a lot of other people did as well, we put something in called stop options, right? We put like two or three of them in a workout. So if the workout's 50 minutes long, at, you stop at the 15 minute mark and then you go on to the cool down. Or if you want to get past the first stop option, you go to the second one. That way you didn't feel overwhelmed. Like you look at this routine, it's like, oh crap, it's 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't oh. hang in there. But oh, I'm going to get something out of the, I set it up so the first 15 minutes still have a ton of value. So mm-hmm. you're still being able to do what you can do. And then you go about your day. And if you get to the 15 minute mark and you go, you know what, maybe I can hang in there for a few more moves than I will. Also, big power down, power up options like you know just kind of like p90x but you got a version that's pretty mellow another version that's pretty intense and so you just sort of you know you make that decision as you get going through it and so a lot of people who went through like uh, we have another program called power sync 60 which is based on women's hormonal cycles nice there you go yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. That. yeah so a lot of women struggle with p90x like, oh it's chest and back for an hour then it's plyo f you i'm out of here you know <laughs> i don't want to do this anymore um, but this, this program is for women who are premenopausal, postmenopausal, and perimenopausal. And depending on where you are and your age and everything else, you pick a schedule that works for you. And women are getting psycho re- results for the first time because we designed something specifically for them. Nice. Okay. I okay. like it. Ladies. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to get into the, uh, to the whole like diet and you know what, what you're intaking uh, mm-hmm. part of weight loss is. But- You hear so much about different, uh, like when it comes to weight loss and it comes to the exercise portion, you hear a lot now about how uh, the cardio is not even important. It's, it's uh, besides the diet, which is a huge part of it, a big, huge part of it is the, the weight training, the resistance training. Now I'm going to go right to you on this one. Is that true? Like, are you wasting, not wasting time, but what, if you're looking for weight loss, is the cardio, the running, the walk, is that a waste of time? No. Compared God. to like, the, there was, am I going to see more results faster? What, what am I going to get faster results with? That's, that's what everybody wants yeah. to know. Will it be the weight training or the, or the cardio? I mean, what blows my mind, 2024, people having this debate still, you know, is it one or the other? Is it the diet, is it resistance, is it, car- is it cardio? Every program I've ever created has all of it in there yeah. because you need all of it. You know, it's like, I'm going to go to first grade and then I'm going to go be an adult. No, you got to go to second and third and fourth. There's all these different phases, all these different options. Cardio is for your health and your wellness. And right. For, for your digestive function. Cardio for your, All your internal That's organs that you kind of need right? so you can live on this earth. Yeah. You know I, mean? I, I do cardio because I, I, I want to run long distances. I want right. to, I want to ski hard top <laughs> to bottom. You, know you have a car. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I, I argue want, that nobody truly I, enjoys I, I want, running, Tony. That's one of my arguments. Like, I think people like the way they feel afterwards, but when they're running, nobody says, man, this is great. Well, there's a few of us out there. <laughs> uh, I, I walk, jog, run. That's kind of okay. where I am. Now, that's sort of that, I, get, I get something off of that. But, but the cardio is important for your health, for your heart and your lungs, right. which you're going to kind of need to survive on earth. But again, the fat and getting rid of the fat. Like, is that like, because I would assume, because people always talk about, oh, well, you know, you build muscle, your, your metabolism is boosted just because y- your muscle is burning more than, mm. you know, the, you're, you're getting the results, I guess, with cardio when you're doing the cardio, but the, Weight yeah, training you, kind of carries throughout the day, right? Cardio is while you're doing it. And after you're done doing it, you're not really burning a whole lot of calories after that. Right. Resistance training because you're breaking down muscle tissue, right? That muscle tissue has to repair. That soreness that you feel is the calories burning mm-hmm. when you're long done with the routine. Yeah. So cardio is a part of it. Hit training is a part of it. Yoga is a part of it. Plyometrics or leg-specific routines are part of it. The upper body, you know, chest and back and shoulders and arms and bys and tries, that's all part of it. And, of course, the diet is 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 – is huge. That's okay. also part of your health. So you have to decide, you know, what foods, like everybody's like, well, here are the things that I need to do. I, my focus is what are the things that I need to cut out that have caused the problem in the first place? Okay. So you have to get that rid of- That seems to change by the day too. What's that? That seems to change by the day too. Uh, you know, like depending one day, on the eggs seem bad, yeah, yeah, bad or whatever. Now, now it's like, you can, there's guys eating 12 uh-huh. eggs. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, yeah. also, it's also how you cook the eggs. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? If you're cooking True. the eggs, you're frying the eggs. or you're Hard you're, boiled. Hard boils, best way to eat an egg. Yeah. Yeah. With all this training, what about rest? There's new studies saying that, oh, you need more than eight hours, less than eight hours. What What are your thoughts on actual rest? Well, there's recovery and there's a stress that comes from life. Like mm-hmm. there's the stress that comes from regular exercise. There's a the stress that comes from the traffic that I was in when mm-hmm. I got was coming here today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's all this kind of stress. <laughs> right. So your cortisol levels are going through the roof. Your adrenal glands are getting fried. So you got to, you know, there's two kinds. There's, there's the mindfulness practices that are important. For me, I hang out with my dog. I go out in my yard. I walk in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I meditate. I do all different kinds of breath work, whatever it is. Sometimes in yeah. the morning when I get up, sometimes when I go to bed. That's a critical part of the healing process 
to bring the cortisol levels down to bring to deal with the stress because the pendulum swings in both directions. So if you're going to train five to six days a week and live in the city of Los Angeles, you better find alternatives to help your body heal. Right. And so it's just part of the equation. LeBron James, for, I mean, the guy's 110 years old. He's scored more points than, <laughs> everybody, than everybody else. Yeah. And, you know, he, for every hour that he's either training or on the court, he's got two hours of rest and recovery, whether it's foam rolling, whether it's a, an ice bath or, yeah. or, or, or uh, infrared sauna. Do you know or him massage. personally? No, no, I've never met him. But no. I used to have really good seats at the Lakers until he showed up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody could afford him anymore. Yeah. Took know? all the good seats. Yeah. Let me ask you them when before we go, we're going to go and talk more with Tony Horton, who's here um, uh, at Tony Horton on Instagram and uh, on social media. You can find him. Just type in Tony Horton. Anyway, um, does it matter? Because like half the time, like I don't want to eat before I work out because I figure like I'm going to burn more. Of the stored energy, the uh, fat, yeah. if I'm working out before I've eaten. But then people say, well, that's wrong. You, well, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that either. Different things go into your body depending on what kind of workout you're going to do. Now, if you're going to do a, a hardcore cardio routine, yeah, no, not much. Maybe a little pre-workout, something to kind of get you going. But if you're going to do a heavy-duty resistance routine, maybe a little bowl of oatmeal with a cup, you know, some berries in it or half a you know, multi-grain piece of bread with but some doesn't work, almond butter it doesn't really work that way right like you know so like in other words if i eat something before i work out like that's because it's not even in it's not basically not even in the system yet it's just still in your stomach so you're not yeah, burning yeah, basically what you just ate i know a lot of guys know? a lot of guys that'll guys and gals that'll fast 18 hours and go do a hardcore workout i mean oh, that's man. a lot Jeez. of it has to do with the individual and their sort of <laughs> yeah you know how right. hard and how often you know, like like super fit athlete types they can get away with almost anything. Yeah. Oh, they crap. I, I meant to hide this Coke Zero before you came in. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's that's good. I noticed so it right away. It's so yeah. embarrassing. We saw these uh, Kit Kat Lemon Crisps. Yeah, if, if you, you like, like to try one. Oh, good yeah. gracious. So we like to yeah. make the guests we'll, comfortable. I'd like for you to do yeah. like yeah. a taste test. Yeah. 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 Do I, do I, do I, I get a gift basket of those on the way? <laughs> Tony Horton is here. Yes. Yep. PowerNationFitness.com. Also, his uh, supplement brand, MyPowerLife.com. I did have a question about that because I saw something that you posted online. I do follow you on social media, and I I do like your stuff. You know why? Because I feel like you're you're a non-judgmental guy, and I feel like there's too many people who are like when I say, "Oh, yeah, this is back when I had an elliptical." Like you're wasting your time with the elliptical. The elliptical's no good. I'm like, what do you mean it's no good? It's better than what I was doing yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're having a banana? Oh, too much sugar. Oh, you shouldn't have a banana. Like, I, guys, I was eating Girl Scout cookies for breakfast <laughs> two weeks <laughs> ago. But like, right. you're very moderate uh, yeah. approach to this stuff, non-judgmental. I do appreciate Thank that. You. Thank I do you. have some uh, diet questions though. Tony Horton's here. More with him next on the Woody Show. Hang on. Tony Horton is here, and uh, you can find him on Instagram and Twitter, and he's got his uh, blog and his lifestyle page, TonyHortonLife.com. What do you find on there? Is it just like... Um, well, a lot of events, a lot of things. That if okay. I'm going to somewhere, like we had these Paragon experiences at my home, uh, about yeah. eight of them uh, over the course of the last Yeah, what part of town are you? Because I see like your videos, so you have this, he's got this dope setup, yeah. man. Like, like obviously, very right? cool. I mean, obviously yeah. your home gym, I, I, I like The Rock, when I see his gym, like I expect that's what The Rock's home gym looks like, right? Like yours, all sorts of stuff like hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. It seems like you have all this different, uh, you know, there's a tunnel in there, of course. Yeah. Uh, but the Bosu balls are up on the rack and the, oh. you know. This, have, I, you, have you been to my house? No, but, I, <laughs> but you do a lot of work. It seems like you have like all these friends that come over and just yep. do these workouts and yep. stuff. It doesn't yep. seem like you're doing like any kind of official video shoot. So is your, your whole job all day basically is like working out and talking about working out and having people over and shooting content for social. But the yeah. place looks cool because then outside, it's a, it's beautiful. Thank you. What part of town are you? Where, where is that? Mandeville Canyon, Mandible off of Sunset Canyon. Boulevard, Brentwood Hills. Okay. Up, up in the woods. I got coyotes and mountain yeah. lions and bobcats and tarantulas and yeah. rattlesnakes. Wow. Uh, Menace has it's, a way to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. called <laughs> wolf pee. You oh. can buy it on. I Amazon. know. I know. And we See, put, we, we Tony put, gets we, it. We had <laughs> seventeen of these cages with with. Some kind of pee. I don't know yeah, whose pee yeah. it was. <laughs> I think it might have been mine. I'm not sure. Yeah. And, and we had them all over the place, and all the little lizards got in there and yeah. died. And I didn't want to kill the lizards. Oh, so, wow. so now I haven't had. But any we, we did death. catch about six rattlesnakes too. So oh, wow. true or false? This is what you did. So Tony's such a badass, mm -hmm. right? Like you go out there now, you just pee on the coyotes. Yeah. You pee on yeah. them, and then they go yeah. away. Yeah, 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 it's a big pissing contest false? with a coyote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. But I've been telling everybody, want to get rid of critters? Wolf pee. Amazon, pick it up. Yeah, <laughs> spray. So, it. spray. Yeah. It. Not oh, a sponsor, good. but could be. All right, oh. so here, just just around the uh, LA, you know, Southern California. Like when you go out to eat, like what are your places? Like if you're going out for like a like a nice, like where do you go? I don't I don't leave the house very often, man. Really? I just don't. I mean, I used to when I was younger, but yeah. I mean, I got this, I, I got this pretty bitchin' pad that I really yeah. love, and I got this crazy mm -hmm. view, and I got three dogs, and 
I mean, I got ninja courses and rope, 15, yeah. 17 foot rope, 20 foot rope, parallel bars, that gym that, you, that you've yeah, seen yeah, online. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to get on an aeroplane and go to Europe or go to Japan okay. or go to Jackson Oh, there's Hall. our daily yeah. 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 Tony, Japan comes up so Tony, much in the show because these two it. have been like, in like in a paragraph or seven. Could you explain <laughs> how awesome Japan is to these? Uh, it people? is. If you have yeah. not been to Tokyo, I mean, I, I mean, I started mm -hmm. in Okinawa. I got an yes. F I got an F 15 C threw up mm -hmm. seven times in that thing. And the, Pentag the Pentagon sent me to Japan twice. Uh, for military tours, up yeah. from the top to the bottom and all around. The place is, try to find a cigarette butt, can't. Try to yep. find trash, can't. Try to find, a, <laughs> try to find gra graffiti, not there. No try to find, Try to find yeah. dirt. Go down to the subways in Tokyo and just ha Dude. just throw your food on the ground and eat it because it's better than anywhere else you've ever been. <laughs> yes, so Thank far you, it's, it's it's and the people are so lovely and so incredible. So far, it just sounds like you're describing Los Angeles. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. it's exactly yeah. like Mandible Canyon. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. Seabass prep you before this conversation? <laughs> yeah. It's almost as if we've been telling the truth the yeah, whole time. Yeah, but everyone says we're liars. Yeah. But like, yeah. but like, uh, you never break down. You never like grab in and out or you dude. Know, no, I mean like every morsel matters. Yeah. Like, look, look. The way I look at it now, you go to like one of the Laker games. You don't go outside and like get one of the the dogs, the the street no, vendor no, bacon wrapped yeah. dogs. No, no. They smell good. I've I've cut out everything from heroin all the way down to cookies, man. Yeah. Uh, it's Damn. all gone. It's all uh, gone. it's gone. I know. Wow. Yeah. Because I arms. feel amazing. I have no knee pain anymore. Yeah. I, I have tons of energy. I sleep like a baby. Yeah. I don't need blue pills to get it on with my girl. Nice. You know what I mean? It's just I like five. the blood flows, the energy's <laughs> there, the oxygen in, the carbon dioxide out, giddy up. I just feel wow. amazing. And, and so when I was younger and I was just cheating like a son of a bitch like everybody else, I was mm -hmm. depressed, I was sad, I was yeah. tired, and I was in pain, and I hated that. So I just said, what's the opposite of what I was doing? And it requires hard work and discipline and, and you know consistency and variety and all these things. But And the transition was a bitch for me like it would be anybody else. But either you care or you don't because we're all getting older, and the older we get, then you know we'll all be standing over somebody's box way before their time. And so, do that. Yeah. All right, no double-double, not even like a single, though crazy no that's, that's yeah i mean that's great i mean no, man no. that willpower i mean i uh i envy that yeah i get into it i go so hardcore yeah. and then i fall off as hard as i got into it yeah, it's how do so you frustrating stop, how do you stop that with woody how do you stop the, the he both is diet in a cycle both diet yeah. and it, it's the company yoga. you keep mm -hmm. uh, and that has a lot to do with it you know i mean look, 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 look around the room <laughs> no done, no no up. everybody's gorgeous Jeez. in here all right hey, look so you know what i mean like pay for nobu i'll go yeah, all you right. know, on a daily I mean, I, basis. Everybody I hang out with is younger than me, and they're badasses. You know yeah. what I mean? And so I'm kind of yeah. keeping up with okay. the youngsters. And, uh, well, uh, Tony Horton is here, at Tony Horton on Instagram, of course, on all social media. You can find him there. Uh, his uh, own little fitness platform he's got now is called uh, PowerNationFitness.com. You can go there and get all the information. But more with Tony, the biggest arms that I have. Uh, I've, sorry, Seabass. I mean, Sorry. they're more I mean, defined. I don't know yeah. about bigger. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what's the uh, fitness influencer? Like, like yeah. uh, what, what would fitness you, experts? Oh, is that guru, right? Guru. guru. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I fitness industry it legend. It doesn't look like he likes any of these. I would yeah. say no. legend. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> legend? I don't want to have influencers. Yeah. Goat? Yeah. I don't know. I yes. Mean, yeah. like, Yoda? How do we refer to? Uh, like, like what, what, do you, what do you say to people? Like, uh, 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 Fitness trainer. Fitness trainer? Yeah. Okay. So humble. All right. All right. Now, what do you yeah. say to like somebody like Sammy who's trying to gain weight, and she says that she cannot gain weight? You know, here's the thing. I think a lot of times people want things that are too hard to pursue because their genetics are just don't right. allow it. You're an ectomorph, period. I was, too. I mean, I still am. Which if I what? stopped, ectomorph was just naturally thin, skinny okay. people. Yeah. You got ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph. And the morph. Uh, some, I'm uh, megamorph. Some, megamorph. And yeah. the megamorph. Yeah. Gor gorgeous amorph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Massive amorph. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you got to deal with your own genetics. You yeah. know, I mean, the, the goal right. here is to be as healthy as you can, to right. be able to sleep really well, to be able to function, to have decent balance, to be able to move at a decent pace as you get older. You know, I mean, that's too many people. Like, uh, these, everybody's like, oh, Tony, how do I get bigger arms? Why? That means mm -hmm. your ego and your ego yeah. is in the way, and it's all about w what other people say about your arms. I mean, grow up, man. Like, how much yeah. do you bench? I don't know. I can, <laughs> but I can. I, I, <laughs> when I see those I guys, can do seventy push-ups in a row. Does that matter? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know because you know I I try to do things that are more athletic based and less aesthetic based, even though. Yeah. I do have a tendency to do that. <laughs> right. Yeah, bro. Look, oh, yeah, bro. If I went through all the stuff that you do with like your diet and exercise and all that kind of stuff, like I'd be I'd be flexing my arms all the time too. In fact, mm -hmm. I'd probably be walking around without a shirt on. Like yeah. I said, if, if, here's, I, here's if I had thing. a huge penis, I'd walk around no pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everybody would know. Um, if if you and I hung out for six months and you just did everything I did for six months, 
Everybody in this room would have their mind blown by, really? by where you were. All right, right well, let's hang out. Like, can I uh, can I like embed myself at your place? Come on over. You got plenty of room, you right? You give me the email, you'll get the yeah. invite. I, look, I'm a good house guest. I uh, sure. I will I will pay for groceries. I'll chip in on utilities and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, let me ask you because uh, obviously the big question with a lot of people are all these um, uh, the weight loss drugs, the Wagovis, the uh, Ozempics, and uh, like, I, I, right now, full disclosure, I'm I've been on Wagovi now for. Six months, almost a year. And he's kicking its ass. Yeah. He's fighting He out it. ate it for I, a while. Yeah. I, I figured out that you can't, out, just kind of like a gastric bypass, you, you can out eat, you can out eat that. Mm. Um, and mm. it, it wasn't even like, it was just bad stuff. So what I was eating was bad. I wasn't eating a ton, but I, what I was eating was bad. And uh, it didn't do it. So now now we're back on on track with that. But what are your what are your thoughts on all that stuff? It's very popular. Even Oprah's on, on board. Mm -hmm. Weight Watchers, like Weight Watchers, they're like, they're all of a sudden they're on board. Like, so what is your... What is your opinion on all that well, stuff? Well, you know, remember who you're talking to sitting here, right? So yeah. my whole thing is how hard do I have to work? I am the source, right? And so the source requires a work ethic and discipline and consistency and energy and, you know, all these kind of things. Because my goal is to be able to perform at a high level doing the thing. I mean, you've seen my gym. You've seen all yeah, the yeah. different apparatus. Yep. You know, I, Ozempic's not going to help me do good at do any of that stuff. So there's... Outside sources, you know, whatever it is, drugs, alcohol, meds, to create some sort of short-term aesthetic change mm -hmm. with uh, marginal health benefits, okay. right? I mean, Ozempic is for people who have type 2 diabetes, right? So yeah. it also helps you lose some weight. But long-term, there's all kinds of digestive issues with it and, and metabolism issues with it. And, you know, I mean, it's like you, it's these things that are so popular cannot be done long-term. Okay. And the future's coming soon. Right. So because you know that, then you have to make a decision. It, it's a great it's a great way to start. But at some point, See, that's how I kind of thought about it. I thought mm -hmm. like, OK, well, I really need to get going. Right. I got. Yeah. I, I get to the point where I go, I'm beyond. Uh, You're too far. The point gone. of the point of no yeah. return. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like yeah, why? I'm too over. far gone. It's a wrap. Like no. And and, um, and no, but in my mind, I really believe that. And then I and then I get but this that's whole. that's not true. You're then just... I get this hair up my ass. And I go, OK, I'm going to I'm really going to focus on this again. And so with all the stuff that's coming out. Uh, my doctor even like recommended it, and I said, "All right, I'll give it a try." And my whole thing was, "I'm going to use this to kind of jumpstart and get things going, so I'll see those results, maybe get quicker results, and then that will keep me motivated to, you know, make a change and stick with it." But awesome, yeah. I mean, let, let's take this thing, whatever it is, whichever ones we've talked about. Six, I'm not taking up for it, by the way. That's I'm I'm legitimately asking you because I'm I'm kind of wondering at this point, like if it is as a, even as worth a it. six month to one year. Start where there's some, you know, where there's yeah. some weight loss, you're feeling better, you have mm -hmm. more range of motion, you, you know, whatever your all the things that have to do with, yeah, with the aesthetic part and the ego part. If that starts to happen, then then great. Then at some point, you, you, all right, well, good. I know I can't be on this forever because anybody who knows enough about this stuff right. says that's true. So then you then you have to start moving, right? I mean, because yeah. right. you know, it doesn't moving. build mus muscle. No, no, right. yeah. no. By the way, Ozempic. <laughs> When you're losing the weight, you're losing muscle weight in conjunction with the fat weight. Yeah. So here it's you are. Both, you're yeah. getting. Yeah. You're taking this thing to look better, but you're getting weaker in the process. Yeah. yeah. You know, which is like, okay, well, all right. Uh, the other thing Why? I the other thing I tried and I hated it was intermittent fasting. Mm. Hated it. <laughs> did it for did it for a while. Really stuck to it. I really I really did give it a, a really good uh, a really good shot. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I mean, I I uh, it's I another super popular thing. I, my way of doing is I stop eating at nine nine uh, p.m. and I don't eat till noon, and that's I oh. guess a form of that, yeah that that's would right. count. That, you know, so I don't I just don't have breakfast. Yeah, and then by the time I hit lunch, I'm kind of hungry and I'll make a shake, and that's how I do. Okay, it. so that is really. I but mean, I don't, I'm not I don't do it all the time. I mean, right. If I wake up in the hung morning and I'm starving and I'm gonna go skiing, I'm not gonna eat till noon. That's just, that's now crazy. what? Because like, <laughs> a lot of people tell you first thing in the morning, get your metabolism going, have some breakfast. So like, why are you skipping breakfast? Like. Are, so you're not doing intermittent fasting, but you kind of are. So if you wake up in the morning, are you having breakfast? Depends on whether I'm working out that morning or not. Okay. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't make it as I'm not pious about it, right? It's I'm not myopic about it. I'm, I'm just all right. Uh, today, I, you know, I ate at nine, and I don't have a workout in the morning. I'm not going to eat till noon. Okay. Following day, uh oh, I got a chest and back routine. I'm going to put something in my body, uh, you know, whatever a, a pre workout with some extra calories in there, maybe a little bowl of oatmeal yeah. or something before. Kit Kat. A Kit no, <laughs> not a Kit Kat menace. Perhaps a mini oh, donut. My, no, <laughs> not a Kit Kat. Snickers. A, don a donut hole. Yeah, yeah no donut. Kit Kats. No. <laughs> um, look, you know, uh, I think a lot of people get in these routines. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and they s- stick with stuff that's that's a not working, and they do it because it's popular because everybody else is doing it. If it really uh, worked, I would do it. Yeah, you know, like yeah. if, if I really felt like the intermittent fasting thing was really doing something for me, I would have I would have stuck with it. I mean, here's the thing: if it's if you're trying something and you're miserable, then you probably shouldn't because you're not going to stick yeah, with it. Yeah, it's not sustainable. Anyway. That's and that's Sammy my trying big to thing. eat extra extra calories to gain weight when she's right. just going to feel bloated and right. tired all the time. I mean, yeah. it's not the way to go either. Right? All right, and now the other thing because I know you've talked about this a lot, and I think uh, you know with your you have that supplement line, the supplement brand, which is My Power Life. Uh, MyPowerLife.com is the uh, website to get more information about. But I've seen a number of your videos where you're talking about, and I don't understand. I mean, I understand in general terms. Gut health. You've been talking a lot about gut health mm-hmm. here recently. Can you like? Can you explain how? Because it's basically like um, not the nerve center, but it's kind of like the uh, you know like the center mm-hmm. of the Death Star. Sure, <laughs> where sure. Where like Obi Wan's yeah. turning stuff down or whatever, because it can control so many different. I guess the belief is so many different things. Uh, just within your the way you function. So not just like weight loss, but it has a lot to do with weight loss, like the health of your gut. Like, can you explain exactly what we're talking about here to people and? what we should be doing. Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are struggling, have a lot of inflammation all throughout their body, you know, and not only in their internal organs, but also their joints because they've got either leaky gut or leaky brain or irritable bowel syndrome or something. And all that's real. because <clears throat> It's it, real it, stuff. See, because you brought up something here recently about like, oh, you know, it's kind of like a, a thing that people say. Right. Like, I think, uh, well, I think gut health. a lot of people talk about it in generalities without getting into specifics, but like rabies certainly has irritable bowels. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's true. nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's real. I think a lot of people just throw it out there yeah. without. And so, so when but I was leaky gut is what? Uh, leaky gut is that when that. you eat food, okay. the food does not make its way uh, into your intestines. It starts exiting out of out of your out of your intestines Ew. before it gets into the lower Whoa. your lower. So, Uzi guts. so what happens is when when the bacteria and whatever the food that starts making its way out of the intestines instead of you know where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Uh, that just causes inflammation everywhere throughout your body, mm. and, uh, and it causes fatigue. It causes uh, you know a lot of uh, Leaky brain is another part of it, part of leaky gut. And so your your gut can repair itself, or is it one of those things you, you where have it's... You have to t- maybe take some, some like for me, I had to do this massive vitamin protocol, and I had to cut out all these foods for three months. No sesame seeds, no rice, no wheat, no soy, no corn, no dairy, no cashews. I did this, this blood profile where 30 pages of almost every food that exists in the world Either there was a little oh, chart that green, said, "Is it green, yellow, red?" I've, green, I've seen, yellow, yeah. red, and all the yellow I've and red had, about I had to cut out. And no, you know, like it was crazy. Um, so what did you eat? Like you, all the stuff you listed, you can't have. I just like I, what were your meals? Like it was me, like, mostly. I mean, I, funny thing was, I was able to eat most uh, like uh, chicken and fish and meat, but I just didn't want to to any great degree. So it was a lot of plants, a lot of yeah. you know, a lot of uh, quinoa, a lot of. Uh, you know, pistachios and almonds and and lima beans and pinto beans and okay. and lentils and all kinds of different things like that. When I hear gut health, I just think kombucha. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, it's ferment like because it's also like the stuff you're supposed to to promote a healthy gut, right? It's like a lot of like yeah. fermented, uh, fermented like vegetable or, right. or there, there's different things. There's all there's a whole list of foods you could find. Uh, and I'm sure if you go to uh, Tony's website, there's because you've been talking so much about it on 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 uh, on your videos and stuff. But I mean, it's it's a big deal, and I think a lot of people's health issues would disappear immediately if they yeah. just got went and got some blood work, discovered what you know what was causing the problem, cut them out for some from period of time, and then as your as your intestines begin to heal, you can start introducing those foods again. So what 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 are the supplement things like? Is I, I mean I've seen you talk about a couple of them, but you know, well for, for people know, who don't know. I mean, the two main products that I have, I mean, I have eight different SKUs, but one of them is the protein powder, so there's a plant-based right. and a whey based. Everybody understands the protein and, stuff, right? Yeah, and but all proteins are not created equal. Like a right. lot of companies are, you know, putting crap in their jars and you're taking this basic protein. We, you know, people over at Golden Hippo that make my stuff, they did a lot of research about it because I had lost so much weight and I was also in my, I guess, late 50s or 60s at that point that I had a form of something called sarcopenia, which is age-related weight loss, or age-related muscle loss, I'm sorry. And so, I mean, I was a, I mean, I looked like a toothpick with legs. It was pretty brutal. And so, and because I couldn't really work out because I was so sick, this is what I was using. So it had large okay. doses of something called HMB, vitamin D with some chromium. And that combination, based on all the studies, was allowed me to start to build my muscle back without even doing much exercise. And it also allowed me to continue to be a vegan again because- before I had this formula, the veganism thing didn't work. I was just I was just bonking and I was uh, uh, not doing very well. That was the veganism choice, 
because of um you know love of animals or whatever or was it Part, just partly based you know, on not really like, just it's just on health i mean if i see fit one, in with your friends you know <laughs> <laughs> gnawing on my on my girl's arm um but but uh yeah just for me it now now because of the protein shakes i do twice to a day i don't know if you know who andy lawrence is andy the lawrence brothers is joey andy and, and matt hmm. you know i i met them at their on their podcast and Andy was one of the three that wasn't really working out, and he was overweight, and he was struggling. And I said, dude, come to my house, and let me show you the way. This guy does two shakes a day and one meal in the middle, and he's lost 35 pounds. He's never been fitter or healthier in his life. And it's so simple. You just throw some berries and some nuts um, and some whatever else you want to throw in the shake, and you put in the two scoops of the protein powder, mm. um, and it fills you up, and it tastes great. And you know, I'm not here to promote my stuff, but I just know what works. I mean, you kind of are. I, I mean, yeah. I kind of am. Yeah. Like when we have sold. guests in, they have like, yeah. damn, yeah. Bust, yeah. busted. I'm saying they have like a tour going on yeah. or whatever. I, I mean, thought you know, I could so get away uh, with that. Yep. Yeah. Man. I so, mean, we're fun, but I mean, you know. Yeah. I'm, like, uh, you want to make sure you get those I mean, I uh, try try to, mentions in there. Try the yeah. shakes. Well, look, I mean, yeah. it's got my name and picture on it, so I'm not going to put yeah. crap in there. You know, it's really important. And I had some battles early on about what I wanted it to be. And, and you know, they stepped up and they put the right stuff in there. And, I mean, it's it's allowed me to be a vegan again without having the issues I had the first two times. Is it true that you work uh, with Jake from State Farm? Uh, Jake, uh, Kevin Mims, uh-huh. or Miles. Miles or is his. Jake from State Farm. Yeah, yeah. yeah the poor, I feel, I watched. You his, I, you're his trainer? I, yeah. <laughs> well, I was for the long, he was, in P, he was in the original P90X3 test group. Oh, uh, really? Um, and, you know, he's become a good friend, and he's been at my, he's used to be at my house all the time, but now he's traveling all over the world. To do, it. do you have, like, rules at your house? Like, if someone's coming over, they can't bring, you know... They can't bring bad stuff. They can't bring like I. I couldn't show up with a Coke Zero, right? That would that would piss me off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't want to show up with a pastrami sandwich either. Yeah. On my yeah. Bed, you Reese's. Know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can no, but the Kit Kats. Bring, bring the Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah. yes. Dude, this this is how this is how weak I was at one point. This is years and years and years ago. But uh, you know, I decided like, all right, I'm gonna do something. So I go to this personal trainer. I'd spend this money on this private session personal trainer thing because I'm really. I figure if I spend the money on it, I'm gonna be more. You know what I would do? I would get out of that personal training session, and there was a gas station convenience store within like I don't know four blocks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I would stop there to quote get gas or something to drink, and I walk out of there with like uh, you know like uh, Hostess cupcakes or something, oh, like something. Yeah. And I'm like, what an idiot! I'm like, I'm cursing myself <laughs> the whole way home, dude. It's a mess. And I think you know, and and as, as sad as that is, I think there's a lot of people who are who are like me. You have all the intention. I think if uh, talking about and thinking about working out, I'd look like you. If that was what got you in shape, like I would look like you do. But it's, it's just a matter of like getting into something, finding something that works and then sticking with it. And that's the big thing. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a lifestyle change that works you, for you, me. You, I don't know. I don't know, Woody, if you're an all or nothing kind of guy. I'm an all or nothing guy. That's the th- that's the problem. All or nothing. The, the thing is, you got to just kind of chill a little bit. You just got to kind of give yourself oh, okay. a break. You sure. got, I mean, do a workout and do, do the first. <laughs> do the first. Not, not chill all the time. But if. You know, it's got to be something that you're enthusiastic about. Yeah. You know, you don't have to love the damn thing. Yeah. But you have to also understand the benefits of what it is that you're doing because you understand that, you know, you want to live an extra 25, 30, 40 years or whatever it is. Maybe. Right. So, you know, that's always my, like, if I don't work out today, if I don't train today, because here's the thing, when you move physically, mentally, a lot of things change uh, because of whether it's yoga or weightlifting or cardio. Cardio is awesome because... You're, there's more oxygen coming in, more carbon dioxide going out. And so you're releasing uh, norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, brain-derived neurotropic factor. These are real chemicals inside. I was going to te- say, I don't know what any of that means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these are chemicals that live inside your temporal <laughs> yeah, yeah. lobe. That um, There's something called a dentate gyrus. It's the size of a, of a baby's pinky finger. And mm-hmm. most people who don't exercise and eat like crap and who die maybe sooner than they do, when they cut open their brain, that thing is black. Oh. Which, which means there's part of their brain that wasn't functioning well, and it has everything to do with your mood and your energy and your enthusiasm and all that kind of stuff. And if you exercise on a regular basis, you know, whatever, let's say you pass away, you cut that thing open, it's pink. Ooh. Right? It's pink because I want it's a pink a, thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it has everything to do with your, like when you, yeah. when you work out, you feel better afterward. Yeah. He already said that. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. knows this. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah. Like, I do. Starting, I feel, like I do. Starting, starting sucks. Something. Starting uh, like does. in the morning and I got an eight o'clock workout and it's, it's, you know, whatever, chest and back. I want to do it like I want to punch in the face. Yeah. But I, a bunch of dudes show up to my house and like, okay, guys, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. First, you need a bunch first, of dudes. The first three or four exercises, I just want. You need to bro out. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. dudes. I mean, if I, I was in Jackson Hole, what, the last 10 days, 
my buds weren't there, so all I did was ski. My my upper body was left alone, which wasn't ideal, but at least yeah. I but was skiing's skiing. like mm. that's good activity. Yeah, and I shoveled a crap load of snow. Too. Yeah, see that. <laughs> Where do you also. ski? The Grand Tetons? Uh, right there, Jackson Hole, mm. right next, Heck right next yeah, door. Yeah, bro, I've been there. Beautiful well, place. I didn't work out. <laughs> Tony Horton. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Horton is here. If fitness you want to live, come with me. Yeah. Tony Horton. You can find him on uh, Instagram at Tony Horton. Of course, uh, his fitness program. PowerNationFitness.com. The supplements we were talking about, MyPowerLife.com. Uh, before we let you go, Seabass, we were talking about a, a push-up. Yeah, I forget how this came up, but uh, we were talking about like things people do wrong at the gym. And I know, mm. Tony, of course, mm. you're very apologetic and you're very open. You want people, you want to be nice and friendly, and I get that. But my biggest Sometimes. thing that pisses me off <laughs> is people is poor range of motion. Yes. People, and I, you see, I, I, I got a Planet Fitness, so I see all types. Mm-hmm. Bad push, half push-ups, half pull-ups, half yeah, yeah, right. squats, half curl, you know, fill in the blank. People go through, they do like 50 of them halfway. They're like, I just did 50. No, you did 50 chest, chest you know, pulses, essentially. <laughs> chest <laughs> right, pulses, but right, like right. You, you were criticizing somebody here in the room. I, I forget right. what it was, it was, but you said it was like the, they went too far down? No, or no, too- no, the back. I said, well, I said the proper push-up. It's very, very simple. It is fully extended at the top. And Correct. then... Just barely touch the, the your chest to the ground at the bottom, and, you know. Ideally for guys, they they call it like chest and and nuts or whatever at the same time, essentially. And if somebody's arguing, it's like, no, actually, you can't. That's not the standard. Blah 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 blah. I was like, dude, that just look at it. Like, go to the Navy SEAL standards, and they'll show you full extension, touch to the bottom. Though, though, there is a caveat there. You can't rest. It, no, here it is. A lot of people who are out of shape. Please who, tell me he's wrong. Oh my God, that'd be so. No, great. no, no. Oh, guts he, will, he, guts he is, oh my he God. He is absolutely right. Yeah. yeah he's absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but caveat. But but, but um, if you've gotten to the point physically that you can do that, but right. you, there has to be a transitional I have, period. I have no problem yeah, with girl push ups on your knees. But gotta ramp long, up. But I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't like starting on my knees because you don't get to engage your core. While, so, so transitioning from your knees to your feet is another n- new process. So I always tell everybody start with your feet, start with your feet wide. It's okay to do a half push up if that's as deep as you can go so that you can come back up five, six, seven. Kind of like Menace's half ass right? squat, right? <laughs> but but mm-hmm. knowing that down the road, you're going to have to f- keep focusing on getting deeper and deeper so there's more muscle recruitment. Okay. Uh, right. And it also keeps you from getting people to, I can't move my shoulder. Well, it's because you're not moving it through its range of motion in your exercises. I, I'm, I met a guy, came to one of my events. He said he could do 40 pull ups. I was like, okay, let me see this. So that's, that's, like, a, that's high, so, high level. Right? So, yeah. so he did uh, 40, uh, 30% pull ups. Right, exactly. And I, and I said, well, no, dude, those aren't, those aren't pull-ups. So it's not a thing. <laughs> well, I always ask so, people, like, how did you decide when to stop? So I told him to go all the way down, and he dislocated his shoulder right oh, now. No. Oh. Because he doesn't exercise See? through yeah. that and range that's the of the danger of working out. There you danger go. Danger working out. Yeah, that's what we've been saying. Yeah, oh, uh, Tony Horton, everybody. Hey. Oh. Tony, thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, it's such a pleasure. I really appreciate it. Like, seriously, man, like, uh, I feel like I waste so much time talking to anybody else. Like, is it, like, it's conflicting information. Like, uh, you're not available as, like, a... Uh, like an actual personal trainer, just regular people. You are could you? come to my house for free, Woody. Yeah. And will there be oh. free? Tony, yeah. will, there, will there be bros there? A lot of bros, a lot of good guys. A lot of dudes. A lot of trade yeah. They're going to look at you and go, dude, who brought the fat guy? <laughs> yeah. No, man. He's the before picture. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Is this a Godzilla promotion? Yeah. Tony Horton, thank you very much. My pleasure. More Thanks, Woody. Woody Show next. Hang on.